There's a lot of talk about protecting your online privacy lately. Big shout out to Facebook for a lot of that coverage. And even though it is a buzzy topic right now, it's not without some merit. There is more and more data being collected on you and me every day. And while advertisers are using most of it, some of it is being collected for more nefarious reasons. Because of this, I figured I'd put together a quick video on how you can protect your privacy online from giant juggernauts like Facebook and Google, but also criminals, hackers, etc. First up, it might seem simple, but your phone, your computer, anything that is a screen that also has your data on it needs a PIN, a password, some sort of protection. The chances of your computer or phone being stolen or lost are higher than you think. And because you have all your data on those devices and sometimes even have like autofill for your passwords on websites, etc., you need to make sure that if someone does get their hands on them, they can't get into them. But beyond locking down your phone and computer, you could almost certainly use a better slash more secure password for your online accounts. The issue is with all the different logins that we have for all of our various online accounts, the smart thing to do would be to just have a bunch of random letters and characters and that would be super secure, but trying to remember all those would be a pain. The solution to this though, that a lot of people are opting for nowadays is a password manager. Programs like 1Password, LastPass, and Bitdefender allow you to sign up for an account with them and then download their plugins for your phone or your computer browser. And then whenever you create an account for any new service on the internet, it'll create a ridiculously complex password for that account. When you return to log in, the password manager asks you for your password for the password manager, and then it inputs that unique password that it created for you for that site or app automatically. So you get that super complex password that is much more secure but you don't have to remember all of them. Next, there have been way too many stories about internet companies having their databases hacked and all of their user information being shared on the internet. While we should all try to be more careful with who we actually give our information to, there are plenty of apps that we have to use or services and sometimes ones that we just want to use so we can't always avoid that. The one lesson I learned the hard way after my Twitter account was hacked a long time ago is that you need more than just a password to protect your accounts. Now most companies give you the option to use two-step authentication in addition to your password. And I cannot stress enough, you should use that in every circumstance that it is provided. Now essentially, two-step authentication means that after you put in your username and password to log in, you then receive a text message or a message through an authentication app with a randomly generated code that you have to also put in before the system will let you log in. And while it's becoming more and more likely that a hacker might have your username and password, especially with all those data breaches, it is very unlikely that they also have your phone. A tool becoming more and more popular when it comes to online privacy protection is a VPN. A VPN, or a virtual private network, is a tool that allows you to connect to a specialized network that then masks you and all of your information while you surf the web. Generally, you can just download one of these services, turn it on, and then it automatically will just mask all of your info, regardless of what you're doing on the web, whether it's social media, your banking, etc. Services like PureVPN and NordVPN and even Bitdefender, again, are a great inexpensive way for you to be able to hide what you're doing on the internet from any sort of prying eyes, whether that's advertisers like Google and Facebook or hackers and criminals. Now, there is also a side benefit to using a VPN, which is that generally they also allow you to spoof what country you are surfing from. This allows you to do little things like, for example, be able to watch a US show on Netflix while you're traveling abroad in Australia. A big topic of security vulnerabilities lately is hackers being able to access your internet of things devices. So like your cameras, your sensors, all those things in your house, and then either being able to take your personal data off of them or being able to even use them to kind of monitor you in your own home. Now a lot of this is due to some incompetence on the manufacturer's parts of these Internet of Things devices where they just really never thought to put in the type of security that they probably should have when making these devices. Now that this is all coming to light though, that is slowly changing. In the meantime though, and regardless, there is something that you can do to help protect these devices in your house anyway. And that is making a firewall. Now, a firewall is a software solution that actively monitors and blocks any threats from the outside world into your home network. You can and should set one of these up very easily from various services on the web and just add another layer of protection to your home network. What if you don't want to deal with any of this though? You just want a simple tool that you can use right away and it just solves all of these problems or does all of these things. Well, full disclosure, Bitdefender did send me their Total Security 2019 product to test out for this video. 
And I've mentioned it before in other videos and I've used it for a while. And I have to agree with like all of the independent labs and research companies that have ranked it highly and PC Mag who's ranked it their favorite, etc. It's a great anti-malware product. But in addition to all of the anti-malware stuff that it does, it actually has a nice suite of tools for online privacy. From a VPN built in to a privacy firewall, a Wi-Fi monitoring tool to detect intruders on the network, social network and email protection to help block suspicious messages sent to you, a password manager, and more, it's honestly a great way to just download one program and have all the things we just discussed and more taken care of in one fell swoop. There guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, just a quick video on internet privacy. If you do wanna check out Bitdefender, I'll leave a link below where you can go do that and just, you know, take care of everything all at once. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you do there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to where subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. Also check out the link below to be taken to my email newsletter that goes out once a week, every Sunday. It gives you all the videos and then also will give you some tips and tricks that don't necessarily make it here to the YouTube channel. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.